Hello guys, this is Chris Wasowski or uh, Low Swag on YouTube and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of lag on your computer as well as get rid of lag on games and your Roblox player. Um, so first off, um, what you want to do is what what is lag first? Well, lag is what um, is basically what um, slows you down in games. You know, you get different types of lag, but lag is basically what makes you uh, freeze, jump, um, your game freezes, you can't see other players, um, or um, five seconds later your chat resumes back into play. Um, what else? Uh, in a Roblox race, uh, you basically are racing and you get passed and passed. Well, that's because you're lagging. And to fix this, um, I'm going to show you guys some ways to do that. So first you want to go to uh, your start button at the bottom. It will be right below my mouse. Um, click that. Uh, then this will open. Go to all programs. Go to accessories. And then go down to system tools. And then go to disk cleanup. Then this little window will open up and it will say select the drive you want to clean up. It should be your C drive. Now this will not harm your computer. Nor it will um, delete any files. It just cleans all the cookies that were coming from the internet and some other things that aren't necessary and you want to remove. So uh, once this loads, uh, another window should open up. And uh, this should help clean your lag a little so once it's done once it's done you want to uh you'll see this box open and you'll see some check marks um inside this little window you want to check all the boxes this will get rid of um all the cookies, all the garbage that's not supposed to be on your computer. Again, it will not delete any of your files, nor it will harm your computer. So, trust me, watch. I'll show you right now. So, it says total amount of disks you gain, and that's the total amount. Yours might be bigger, yours might be smaller, depending on how much, whatever. Is in your recycling bin, your cookies, how long you've been on the internet, etc. So you want to hit the OK button, it'll open up this window. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? And again, it would not harm your computer. Hit delete files. And it should clean up. It might take a little slower for you depending on how much files you're cleaning up how much space you're getting back and your hardware on your computer so another thing that will help is um, go to the start button again go to all programs go to accessories go to system tools scroll down to uh, under disk cleanup disk defragmenter and you just want to analyze your C drive. I'm not going to do it. It's going to take too long. And then you can also, after that's done, you can defragment it. And then once that's done, you're, you should restart your computer and load it back up. And it should be okay. Anyways, um, also you can configure your schedule because this can run at a certain time whenever you want 
So you can do that. Mine is set to Wednesday. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is this is optional. You don't have to do this. Unless you downloaded a lot of crap. I don't recommend doing this, but it's an option. Go to start your start button at the bottom. Go up to the right side and click control panel. Go to pr under programs under it. It says uninstall program. Click that. Then wait for it to load and all your programs should come up that you downloaded. So this shows everything that you downloaded on your computer program wise. So um what else? Oh to um uninstall a program that you don't want. Like say that you installed Skype and you wanted to get rid of it. You can just click uninstall at the top and it says are you sure you want to uninstall Skype six point ten? You just hit yes and then a wizard might pop up where you have to follow instructions or something or it just might uninstall automatically I want to keep it so there's really nothing I want to uninstall cause got rid of all that also um, don't mess with the Microsoft anything that says Microsoft do not uh, uninstall it it's supposed to be on your computer also another thing you can do is go to start Go to the start button again, go to control panel, go to system and security, and then go to Windows Update. If there's any important updates or optional updates, you can uh, install them. You can just click the optional if you have any. You can check off whatever you want. I don't really want to, the uh, language packs. I mean, I don't need it. Um, because I'm only American. Uh, if you wanted to just have this, you just check that off, click OK, and it'll say install it, and then you'll install it. But I don't really want to right now, because it'll take too long. Um, anyways, uh, once you got that set, um, there's really nothing else. Um, yeah, really nothing else. Oh, another thing, um, look down at your keyboard and t put, um, put your fingers, your two left hand fingers on, uh, control and then alt and then get your right finger and press delete to top right. This is for all Windows 7 users or any Windows user. This will not work for Mac, so sorry. This will. Oh, um, hold on. Once you um hit CTRL Alt Delete, um, this window should pop up. Should have a Windows 7 background, but I customized mine. Um, you have a couple options here. You want to click Start Task Manager, then this window will open up. This shows all your, uh, it might open up this. You want to click the processes tab. And then, um, you should get this. Um, this is all your background programs, basically, that's running. So I have NVIDIA running, Google, Chrome, Camtasia, um, Java. So say that I wanted to get rid of this NVIDIA thing. I will click on it and then I will go to end process. Click on process and process and then it should get rid of it. All these processes are okay. Just don't get rid of again any of the Microsoft ones. Um yeah, that's basically it from that. It just closes any background programs and your performance should uh, increase. Okay, uh, oh my. Okay, uh,
Uh, how <laughs> would I do? Can I record it? Um, let's see. Okay, so for Roblox, um, if you enter a game, let's just say this Radio Shack 500 in Martinsville. Okay, so that loads up. Should enter. Sorry about the uh, slow loading of the decals. You know, um, if you record, your FPS decreases or your frames per second. That's basically what uh, runs your whole computer. That's basically what tells you if you're lagging or not. Lower the FPS, the uh, um, lower the more lag you have the more FPS the less laggy you are so right now I can move around freely I'm not lagging at all but if I was lagging it would take a while for the decals on these cars to load um if this was a high server with a lot of people the people would like look like noobs and stuff because the character hasn't loaded yet and maybe the cars, if they were racing around the track, might be jumping a little. And if I got in the car, it would be jumpy, like slow. You would go slower than the other cars. That's just Roblox. Um, so, to at least help fix this, you want to go at the bottom and click Menu. Go to Game Settings. And then right here down at Graphics Equality, it should be set to Auto. Just un X that. Um, then you get to slide this. It should be set to 10, which is the best quality. And the more detail it is, the basically the um, the lag here it is. So what you want to do is turn your slider down to two. Listen, or else this will not work. Turn your slider down to two. Click OK. Go back to game settings slide it to one now this gets rid of more bricks on the track say over here now it shouldn't be laggy at all or at least it should decrease it a little more um that's basically how you get rid of uh the majority of the lag now if you're still lagging it could be your connection problem just want to uh go to google Type in uh, speed.net, um, speedtest.net, sorry. Uh, I'll give you the link to this, guys. And it'll say, uh, it's taking a little while because I'm recording. Right here, I'll just, well, <laughs> just give you where I live, apparently. <laughs> but it'll give where you live and the nearest connection like if you have Comcast it'll say hosted by Comcast or something so you just want to hit begin test and then it'll say pinging um this just shows how fast your download speed is mine's pretty low right now mine would be above 16 if it was um, if I wasn't recording, and then upload speed, as you can see, is pretty low. I mean, for you guys, that speed is fair. To increase the speed, you probably want to hook up an Ethernet cord if you're near your router. So I got a pretty fair result there. Um, this is an Ethernet cable. plugs into your router and connects to your computer as you can see here whatever um that's basically how you get rid of lag um anything else I'm trying to think if I forget anything sorry for the long video um I think that's it um
yeah, that's it. If there's if you're still lagging, it could be a virus on your computer. Or if you are hundred percent sure that you don't have a virus. Um it's your hardware basically, your what's inside your computer. I mean if you have something under the minimum requirements for your game that you're playing. Like Roblox is like 2.0 gigahertz. To find this, um, you can just go to the start button, go to search programs and files, type in DXDAG, DXDIAG, DAG, and go up to the top, click that. Wait a second, and then this will pop up. Then down at processor, it'll say your processor uh, model number and name, how much cores it is, and then your gigahertz. Mine is really good, 3.8 gigahertz. That's gaming. <laughs> Any game could take 3.8. <laughs> um, memory is 6 gigabytes, basically. 1,000 to 24 megabytes is 1 gigabyte. So, do the math. Then you can go to the tabs at the top, hit display, hit NVIDIA, G it'll just list you like your graphics card and stuff. And then Roblox has all the requirements. If you want to figure it out or something, if you're really interested, just go to uh, type in system requirements on Google for Roblox. Sorry for my poor grammar. Uh, is this it? No. Hardware right here. And then it'll just tell you everything about it and how you can clean it up. Again, if you want a more step by step, just, you know, go to Roblox Wiki. Say again, history for fragmenter. Low memory. Try installing a few programs. You know, they're not in that much detail as me. Well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video, and uh, please comment if you have any questions. I'm pr pretty sure I probably missed something, or you guys probably didn't understand something. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Thank you all. Peace.